Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. Today we're having a look at the Tandy Multiface, which is a through-hole self-assembly kit for the Raspberry Pi designed to be compatible with the GERT board software. Here's how the Multiface attaches to the Raspberry Pi via a short ribbon cable and it sits right next to it. You could use a shorter ribbon cable or a longer one. Or a choice. Let's have a closer look around the board and see what there is. Okay, so here you've got your 12 LEDs and your power on LED. Here you've got the connector for the Raspberry Pi P1 header. You've got three push buttons. You've got the analog to digital converter chip and the digital to analog converter chip. You've got the Atmega 328P which is basically an Arduino type chip. Microprocessor which you can program using the uh, Arduino IDE. You've got these three chips here which are buffers which stop you from damaging your Raspberry Pi if you wire it up through the buffers. Here you've got the connectors for driving a motor and connecting a power supply for that. Here you've got four protective diodes that protect against inductive load on the motor. Here you've got the, re the automatic resetting fuse. Here you've got the motor driver chip. Here you've got the Darlington array, which uh, you can use to switch up to seven relays or other things. You can use it to switch lots of different things. Here you've got the header that determines whether or not you're using the buffers for output or input. You put a jumper on that one, say, to say that we're going to use buffer one for output. Or if you wanted to use buffer one for input, you put it on that one. You connect the buffers to the GPIO ports using these pins here. This is for the motor control. This header here is what's used for the relay drivers and the open collector with this Darlington array. So those would be those would be the pins you would connect to a GPIO port, and these would be the pins that you connect either to your power supply or to your relay. Over here we've got a voltage regulator, a jumper and a capacitor. And over here you've got the programming header for the Atmega chip. If you'd like to subscribe to the Raspi TV YouTube channel, when the video finishes, click on the i and click subscribe. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.